girl have the audacity to start to see it through to be it to do it with what you have at that moment to be still to be patient to just get it done have the audacity for yourself for your family for your future self and just do it because if not you who this is Ruby's Roundtable hosted by myself, Ruby Durham, and I am so excited to just be a resource, to be a vessel to those who are trying to figure out, as I am myself, how to get through entrepreneurship. The first segment is called Girl Have the Audacity, where we are sitting down with different women from different industries, backgrounds, they have different stories, and they're going to tell you how they got started, how they are continuing to fulfill their purpose, how they are just trying to figure it out as they go. A lot of them are successful. A lot of them are pivoting. A lot of them are turning new leaves, and we're going to sit down with them and just going to see how we can attach their story to yours so you can have the audacity so you can be able to take away resources motivation relationships just anything that can get you started anything that can have you bet on yourself so before I can introduce everybody who's having the audacity I have to tell you about mine I am an Emmy nominated TV news journalist who decided to say hey I want to go into different passions of mine which is singing developing a women's clothing line and doing things that make the little girl in me just go crazy and smile and just feel good about herself every day. And so I didn't end up getting to produce this segment right before I resigned, but something in me just said, just do it, just go for it. And so I had to have the audacity myself to put it together with what I had. I'm at the library one day and I'm just trying to get my life together trying to, I got the calendars, I got the notepads, I got all the things. And I just look up at one of the screens or the monitors in the library and it says audio, video, production, et cetera. Lo and behold, they're saying we have this room in the library where we have lights, we have cameras, we have microphones, we have podcast equipment, and not too many people use it. And not a lot of people who work in the library know how to use it as well. And so, y'all, before I quit the news or resign from the news station in 2022, I had pitched Ruby's Roundtable to my producer and she said, go for it. Let's do it. Put it together. Let's see how it goes. And I just put it off. Especially after I resigned, I said, you know, it doesn't make sense. I don't know how I'm going to put it together. The equipment, everything is so expensive. Flash forward, I'm in the library. I see this monitor with all this information. And my curious mind goes to someone who works here. And this is how Ruby's Roundtable is being formed with the resources and help from the library. So I say all this to say, if... God wants you to see something through. He going to give you the milk, the eggs, the spatula. He going to give you all the equipment. You just got to put it together. And I felt like in that moment, he was saying, revisit it. Just start it. Just do it and use what you have, where you have. And it was right there in my face. So Ruby's Roundtable is going to be so special, so near and dear to my heart, because it's literally something where we just put it together with what we had. And so look for your resources, look for spaces and places that have things at no cost that can be readily available to you because you literally never know how that can take you to the next level or how that can just get you started when you thought that you had literally nothing to get started with or you put a dream or you put something that was on your mind a passion project of starting off to the side because you didn't have the things. Sometimes the things are right in our backyard, right on the computer. We just have to do a little bit of research instead of scrolling, do the research to figure out what makes sense and how we can make it work for us. And now at this point, we I come to the library so much more and I made relationships with the people here at the library and it has become something that I look forward to and I hope they look forward to it as well because they're always wondering what we have going on here. But as you are watching Ruby's Roundtable, just know this got started with what we had 
just by being in a space, being curious and going for it. It has been so scary. It has been very uncomfortable, rewarding. I made so many relationships. I've lost relationships. I've learned so much about myself with trying to figure out business, entrepreneurship. And I've been introduced to so many different people, women and men who've helped me, who've given me gems, who've just showed me where I need to pivot myself. And now I want to introduce those people to you and continue to introduce those people to you and tell my story, my journey, and introduce you to the passion projects that I'm working on while we hear from other people who may not be in the same industry as I am, maybe in a different industry that you'll relate to, but we're going to create conversations, get real raw, real deep, authentic, because I want you to be able to take away something that gets you to take that leap of faith. So again, this is... Ruby's Roundtable. The first segment is Girl Have the Audacity. And I can't wait for you to meet some of the women in and around the Charlotte area who are just killing it and going to give you the real behind the scenes of what it takes. <laughs>